Everyone at some point in their life prays for help. But how often do you stop to help someone else? I have seen many miracles from this opportunity. I hope this miracle story will inspire you. Inspire you to help someone else. This is my tribute to William Farman. William Farman has suffered from Parkinson's disease for the last 13 years. This debilitating disease attacks the nervous system and ultimately surrenders muscle control and strength. William has congested heart failure, pacemaker, and severe edema in which the water seeps out of the legs. The range of motion in his arms and legs is only a few inches. About five years ago, William began to fall constantly. It was in his best interest to go to a nursing home at this point. William went into his first nursing home in 2006. This is the point of where William became bedridden. Besides the nursing facility, William was always surrounded by his team of nurses, Dallas and Tamara. We fast forward to September 20th, 2009, three years of being bedridden. A typical day we would never think of. The nurses would come in at 8.30 in the morning and put William into his recliner. William would stay there until 5.30 p.m. in which he was placed back in bed for the night. He doesn't even have strength to sit upright in a chair. He would usually fall to the left or to the right. At this point, there is very little strength in his muscles and William cannot toss or turn like anyone else can. In fact, William cannot move his body at all. He has to be in a perfect position because he will be in that position for the next 15 hours. William has a catheter and a diaper. He will be in the same diaper for the next 15 hours as well. Besides all of William's conditions, William was very religious. William would go to the synagogue every morning and sometimes twice a day. Most people would turn away from faith and have a why me attitude, but not William. William had faith that one day something would help him. He was not going to lose faith or his will to live. He was going to fight and not give up. This inspiring story has instilled many virtues in my soul. I've only known William for 10 months and he was like a grandfather to me. I felt an instant bond when I first met him and that grew into such a soul connection. This is the story of one man's determination. Life. In order to achieve, you must first breathe to believe. But the first nursing home that he went in, is that when he was, was bedridden at that point? Was he bedridden before that point or that's like kind of uh, when the decision? He uh, moved into being bedridden at that point because he couldn't really, uh, you had to lift him in and out of a chair or in and out of bed. He didn't sleep in a bed, he slept on a uh, uh, lazy boy a type recliner. of uh, recliner. So that was the easiest method. and. Uh, it was not a um, really useful way of uh, his existence. He was not comfortable, and uh, he needed uh, basically day and night care. When did uh, when did you first start seeing improvements in, in William's condition? I would say within uh, a week or two, while he couldn't fully um, expand his arm movements. He made that uh, ability to strive and follow uh, what you were showing him. Oftentimes, he would remind me of what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Just had that uh, capacity. And since we were such uh, close knit family, and uh, he and I traveled together, we were in business together, we did many things that... Uh, he was one of your best friends. He was. He truly was. He was a mentor, a friend, and a real brother. Well, that was a funny one. Ron Levine is an associate in uh, the fact that I, uh, as a, an individual agent with my own company, was under the uh, cover or uh, blanket of Ron Levine, who managed uh, numerous insurance companies. And my association with him uh, was very strong, uh, 
we had a nice relationship and uh, he finally sold his company to a uh, large New York Stock Exchange company. And as such, uh, we kept in touch and we still have a very uh, nice relationship. Well, one of the, uh, we'd meet about uh, once a month, have lunch or dinner and uh, socialize and uh, talk business for other things. And uh, we were preparing to uh, meet that day for lunch. And Ron, of course, always had uh, very expensive uh, toys. And that particular day, he didn't use his Maserati, he only went with the uh, Bentley. Well, the Bentley was a few months uh, old, and uh, for whatever reason, he got a flat tire. Well, he called me, Jack, I don't know whether we can meet today, he said, but uh, I'll try to take care of the tire and uh, keep our meeting a little later. So, uh, as it turned out, I found out from him that uh, David came along, and uh, David offered to help uh, fix the tire. Well, Ron told David that uh, there is a, a tire inflator that he uses, and it was brand new, and it did not work like his Bentley. <laughs> so David offered to uh, pick one up for him. Well, Ron offered to buy David one and himself one, and uh, gave David uh, some funds to go get it. Well, David came back and he gave Ron his inflator and gave him his money back. And Ron was floored with that. He hadn't met anybody uh, quite like that. But in the conversation uh, that Ron Levine had with David, David had expressed to him that he does things just that of uh, being a good fellow individual, wants to do good, and uh, as such, uh, he explained to Ron that some of the things he does, he helps people with uh, ailments. And uh, he had mentioned Parkinson's as one of them. Well, finally, I did meet that day with Ron Levine, and during lunch, he told me about David, and uh, so I asked him for David's phone number. And my call to David, I explained to him my brother's ailment, uh, always looking for help and hope, and uh, David expressed uh, that he could possibly help Bill. So we set up a uh, meeting where he went to see Bill and uh, told me that he could, in fact, uh, be very useful to Bill in helping him with his incapacities. And this went on for months and the development of Bill being totally incapacitated, bedridden, not being able to feed himself, standing was out of the question, walking was nowhere in sight and over the months the work and the abilities and the capacity that David had to inspire Bill and help him with the Tai Chi and all the movements was unbelievable. It was really a miracle come true. Very nice.